Fetcher Kucha 44, YouTube prep and self-employment. So I didn't do an awful lot this week, uh, but that meant to have stuff to show for the Fetcher Kucha, I had to do stuff on the Sunday of the week. So the whole purpose of doing the Pech Kucha is valid because it makes me do stuff I wouldn't have done otherwise. Awesome. So Winter Soldier, uh, I just picked up a graphic novel from the library, whatever they've got. Brubaker, I feel Ed Brubaker is a name you can trust. I don't bother trying to learn the names of artists anymore, but you know, there's some really good stuff in here. Uh, it's difficult to talk about the writing because, you know, Marvel be Marvel, but like the art style. Um, Greece uses a lot of kind of heavy blacks and I just really like what he does. Uh, I, I want to use heavy blacks and it's a great example of, of you know, getting away with it, I suppose. The color palette is interesting because it seems quite frequently to be like two, three, four colors. Uh, you see he's used like a, a kind of a saturated red blue on these two pages, a little bit of yellow, uh, you know, orange and stuff. That kind of design thing is very interesting. Uh, his compositions as well are bold to the point of, of scary. I wouldn't be wanting to do something like this. I'm not even sure if it works. I don't know if I can I can actually if I, I'm qualified enough to say if it works or not, but it's it's stuff I like to do going forward to think about how I compose my stuff. But yeah, so putting together actual YouTube YouTube content, I was gonna do a little let's practice drawing hands thing. And I was thinking like how do I actually set up my my windows and stuff? Um it's it's one of these things I'm going to practice, but it's like, should I pre-set up? Should I do it live? Um, I want, the whole the whole reason I'm practicing is because I need the practice. If I have to waste time I could be spending practicing, setting it up so that the video looks better, it's probably missing the point. But I think I'm just going to have to do a few and actually see what works. So what, what do I mean when I say practice? Uh, hands are a great thing I'm bad at. So draw them freehand from memory, then get reference, figure out what I'm doing wrong, then put the reference away, and then try and redraw again. That's the kind of the theory. Uh, I need to try it a few times, see if it works. It might be possible that muscle memory and tracing is something to look at as well. Uh, how to record uh, working on paper. Uh, a lot of people just take a camera, put it on a tripod. I have a camera, I should get a tripod. We'll see if that works. Then all I have to do is draw stuff worth recording, but I do want to do a lot of um, pencil work because I think it will help me be more accurate. Yeah, doing recording things off my my uh, camera, my uh, my computer. Do I let people see the desktop? You know, I just Google images for reference. Should I do that in real time? Let people see what I'm looking at? You know. <laughs> How how close to the top of the the search results all the stuff is I look at is, uh yeah I'm unemployed, yeah that's that's my 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 status, uh it's it's a pain in the ass because I have to spend a lot of time looking for design jobs even though I'm not a designer I'm an illustrator, but illustration is not really a job, uh so I've signed on with the job center they actually do offer self employment help. It seems suspiciously good on paper. You know, they kind of walked me through what they do. It sounds like what I need them to help me to do. So in theory, they've they've got my back. But I can't believe I just said the job center's got my back. It's not how it works. But yeah. So once once you agree to do this, you know, they walk you through a business plan, and or you walk them through your business plan, and then they kind of they put you on a, a financial scheme where you know effectively they give you money at the start and then they give you half as much and then you're supposed to be like making money over the course of like 40 weeks so mentoring is something they claim they they offer it would be really really helpful to talk to someone who's already doing what i'm trying to do and is successful at it because that cuts out a lot of 
bad experiences, uh, and I would like to cut out as many bad experiences as possible. Uh, the business plan, it's going to be really interesting when I, when I say to them, hey, I want to put stuff on t-shirts and, and somehow make enough money to pay my rent with that. You know, other things as well, the blogging and the YouTube, but it's, it's all bits and bobs and it's <laughs> a bank manager would laugh in my face, I'm sure, if he could be bothered to laugh in my face, because it might not even be that funny. Yeah. Applying for jobs, I'm not even sure what my degree is now that I'm technically I've graduated. Uh, did I do a bachelor's or a bachelor's with honours? Um, it sounds like I did an honours because I did do a dissertation, but I'm basing this on what I can find from Googling it, and I was really hoping that this... I hope this isn't what I have to do going forward for everything. Of course it is. Uh, new project, I'm going to do a little noir comic murder mystery thing. Uh, it's going to look a bit like Sin City, but I have to figure out how that is. I'm, I'm in early stages of trying to character concept. It's going to be with the Holy Crapola guys. We're going to write it as we do it. It's going to be such a mess. Uh, I played a XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man file. Uh, the drama that ensues would make excellent content for comics. Uh, I made a Chris Redfield, he died. It was obviously it was bullshit. Uh, I think using games to generate comics is a great idea, but it's an awful lot of work. It's something I want to look at going forward. Neo got DLC, Valiant Honor, Defiant Honor. The main character of the DLC, Yukimura Sanada, seems like he's he's a, a bit part player in his own story. Not a good way to tell uh, your your story. That's all I'll say about that. So, quote of the week from Dan Painter, the... 50 billion dollar man, anything can be changed if you want to do it bad enough and are willing to pay the price to action. It's going to be painful. He's talking about you want to do something in life, it's as simple as going to do it, but you've got to pay the price. That's that's blood, that's sweat, that's tears. It's social relationships. It's depending on what you want to do. If you want to, you know, Hulk Hogan once said, <laughs> and I shouldn't spoil a future quote, right? You either make money or you make friends. And he obviously made money because fuck Hulk Hogan, right? But yeah, whatever you do and however far you want to pursue it, it's going to cost you something else. It's like if you want to be a professional athlete, you're going to make a lot of money in your 30s, but you might end up with brain damage, even if it's theoretically a non-contact sport. Uh, in your 50s and that applies to things like illustration you know you spend a lot of time in, in a in a room by yourself drawing stuff that's that's not networking that's not uh socializing one for work one one for, for personal preference so yeah that's what i'm thinking about going forward i got to put the long hours in and hopefully it will all turn out to be worth it fingers crossed right so that brings us to the end of Petchkusha 44, and I'll see you next time.